What if I told you that what you learned in school about gravity is not the full story? Newton said gravity is a force between two objects, like this apple and the Earth, depending on their mass and distance. But there is a problem. If one object moves, the force changes instantly, which goes against Einstein's special relativity that states nothing is instant. Nothing is faster than light, not even gravity. So in the 1915, Einstein came up with general relativity. Gravity is not a force. It's a bending of space-time. Think of space like a giant trampoline and the objects like stars and sun and planets. They stretch and bend it. This explains why planets orbit stars. They're not being pulled by an invisible force. They're just following the curve of space. And guess what? Light bends too. In 1919, scientists confirmed Einstein's prediction that they saw starlight bending around the sun during an eclipse. But let's take this to the extreme. What if something was so massive that it bent space completely around itself? That's what physicist Carl Schwarzschild figured out in 1916. If an object is dense enough, it creates a black hole, a region where gravity is so strong, nothing escapes not even light. This happens when a giant star runs out of fuel and collapses under its own gravity, squeezing all its mass into an infinitely dense point called a singularity. And that singularity, it's like pressing delete on all the laws of physics. We have no idea what happens inside. In 2019, we finally saw a black hole for the first time, proof that Einstein's general relativity was telling us something. But here's the real kicker. If time and space can bend, stretch, and curve completely on itself, does that mean the universe itself started the same way? For more, check out Atheism Delusion book by Ahmed Al-Hassan.